What's up, YouTube? Me, Boss, and Chris, back with a brand new video. So, after waiting and being patient um, when it came to my books that I sent out to CBCS, guess what? They're back. Woo! So, I sent off three books to uh, CBCS. This is the first time I've actually ever sent anything out to get graded. Um, the reason I sent these books out to CBCS rather than CGC is because, well, for two reasons. First, um, the small convention that I went to, the um, Little Giant Comic Con up in New Hampshire, CBCS was actually there in person to go ahead and get the books. And, um, you know, with the new policy they have of um, giving yellow labels for um, signed books, I went ahead and decided, you know what, let me go ahead and get these books that are signed in my collection, sent off to be graded, um, and pretty much just see what they come back as. So it's kind of like a test run my first experience actually sending books off to get graded so I'm excited about that um, I expect to see um, a range of grades um, and the reason I say that is because even though it's three books so I'm, I'm not sure specifically where they're all gonna land um, I have my expectations um, I do know that um, you know I didn't send them off to get pressed or cleaned or anything like that so um, it's not a situation where if anything comes back a certain way I'm gonna really specifically be disappointed just because I, I didn't do all the steps that most people you know will take which is to get every last thing you know you know every last possible advantage um, done prior to um, you know sending them off so that when they do come back to the highest possible grade um, I'm pretty sure that these are gonna end up staying in my collection um, I don't. I don't really see. Um, I don't really see any sort of reason to get rid of them specifically. But um, again, I, I did this as a test and also to kind of see if my eye for grading is as you know is on point. Um, I, I've already. I've said before that when it comes to um, grading books, um, you know, nine point eight. You know, high grade is easy. Low grade is easy. Like anybody can tell. I think what a one point oh. Or a 0 0.5 or you know something in that range I mean it's just beaten to death that's simple um, and I mean just about anybody can tell a 9.8 or better you know 9698 whatever that range is um, that's easy too just because it's it's you know book is just about pristine if not perfect um, it's those mid grades that I have trouble for so I would say everything from I would probably say about if I'm gonna be honest 7.0 to like the threes I have a little bit of trouble really gauging what's what so that's what I wanted to do I wanted to um, submit things that may have um, a little bit of varying degree um, to kind of figure out what it is that I thought so I have my idea of what things should be um, versus what um, you know we'll see if they come back different um, and then I have a couple books that I picked up um, that I'll show a little after but let's get to the star of the show I guess the uh, unboxing of the books so all right um, all in all what I'll say as far as um the experience that I had with um, you know CBCS and, and sending it out um, these books was um, sent out on August 22nd so they're back in less than a month which is really cool um, that kind of tapped into one of my, um, I guess, suspicions and hesitations of um, sending books out to get graded that would take like months and months and months to get them back. But um, yeah, these are what, like three weeks maybe or so? So not bad. And um, getting a signature verified on it was actually pretty cool too. So, um, you know, I'm not sure if that's the way it is for all books, um, but I'm excited that that's the way it is for me. So I'll go ahead and get into these and I will do my best not to or do my best to try and not see the grade prior to and then you know if um okay and then hopefully not see any um you know, notes or anything like that prior to actually showing the book themselves. Um they do a good job of packaging this which is you know assuring that you know, things will kind of come back and not be, you know, mangled or destroyed or anything bad. So, let's see. Uh, 
one thing I can say is that uh, my daughter's going to be really excited about the bubble wrap. She's a big fan of that. So. So should we go bottom first or what? I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, we'll start with the top. So, all right. So the top one, uh, I think that the grade is over on this side. Yes. All right. So top one that I have. First book that I'm pulling out of this and make sure that I put this down. So, oh, okay. All right. This is going to be a pain. Stay. See? You know what I'm doing. Alright, so here we go. So, first book we have, actually, uh, I should take it out, but whatever. So, the first book we have is the glare. Wow, see? This stinks with this glare. Um, Secret Wars number eight. So, this is Verified Signature by Mike Zek. Um, so, they verified it. And I thought. Um, just eyeing it initially what it should be is around a 6.0 that's my thought um, but let's see what the grade says itself and it is oh 4.0 that's that's tough right there let's see is there anything on the back to say why probably because it wasn't clean specifically and there's a couple of I can I can tell now by looking at it, there's a couple of prep things that could have been pressed out of this. Um, let's see, for the greatest notes, please go on to okay. So for the greatest notes, it wants me to go online to check that out. But so 4.0, um, oh much better without the bag on there. Still pretty sick though. I'm not upset about that. I remember um, when I bought this. Um, this was. Um, back in the day, uh, about maybe eight or so years ago, I got that, and um, I bought it on eBay for about five bucks. So I'm not super upset or depressed or anything like that about it. But um, you know, I, I do know that um, my eye on that one, um, I would have thought was higher, and um, you know, hoping that um, this would be something that um, you know would have come back. Higher than what it is, so I'm not. I'm like again. I'm not, I'm not depressed. I'm just kind of curious as to what it is that um, would have needed to be done, or well, just really what it is that happened. So I'm probably doing a show, checking out the greatest notes to figure out what's happening there. All right. Next up, we have Ultimate Fallout Four. So this is um, signed by Clayton Crane. You can see right there. Um, this is the first print. Um, let's see. Probably could have used a press, so I, I probably um, should have sent this out because I have a feeling that um, this. I mean, it's definitely not going to be a nine eight, which I'm okay with. But let's see what it actually is. Nine point oh, okay. Um, hmm. Oh, I mean, there's no. Let's see. Oh yeah, damn it! I wish I had seen that before. So I can see, um, oh, I can see right here in this little corner. Uh, where is it? So this little corner. Oh, I'm probably not showing it. Yeah, there we go. So where is it? This bottom corner here. Nothing. It's got a little bit of color break, not too too much. Um, on the front, there's no color break. Um, there's a little bit of a spine roll, I guess, but. Nothing too crazy. Oh, there's a couple of color breaking uh, ticks along the spine, but overall, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Still, 9.0, really cool. So now, the last book I submitted was um, Spawn, and um, I had gotten that a long time ago when I was 17, I think, maybe younger. I think I actually I think I was like 14 when I had gotten that, um, and that is old. Like that's, I mean, for me, that was, okay, a long time ago. <laughs> uh, 
That was that was twenty four years ago. Whew. So I've had this in my book. I mean, I have this book in my collection for a long, long time. And um, you know, whether or not this is in an excellent grade, I I haven't. I mean, it should be okay, but I don't know. I'm not really. If if the Miles Morales came back and it was a um, 9.0, this I would have to say. I mean, it's probably like a 9.2. All right, well, let's see what we got. Da -da. Good old Spawn number one, signed by Tom McFarlane. Hey, all right. 9.6. Well, all right. So what does that say about my books? Well, it says that the books that I have had in my collection for a long time, all oh, the books that I, the oldest book out of the three of them that I had in my collection the longest, I took care of the best. Um, the other two were eBay purchases that, um, you know, ended up being, um, you know, a little bit, um, you know, before the hype kind of hopped on them. So cheaper than, you know, I didn't spend a lot of money on them, which is great because um, that makes me happy. But yeah, man, this is really cool. Like, I'm really excited. Um, Jesus, so much stuff um, on the back of this one. Uh, see, Spawn Centerfold by Todd McFarlane. Um, Pit number one. Um, by uh, pit pinup by Gail Keown, uh, spawn number one pinup by Josh Perez, full page ad for Rust Two Volume Two number one, um, half page ad for Protectors number one. Great, um, but yeah, man, this is really cool. Like I'm really excited about that um, to have this come back as a 9.6. Um, at some point, I'm gonna have to get another one of these so I can actually have a raw copy. But this is my spawn number one. That's in my collection, so this is here to stay. I mean, they're all here to stay. I'm not going to get rid of them, I don't think. Um, but, yeah, you know. I do like that it, um, the new Sand Edition on this. Um, oh, yeah, now I see that little crease at the top. I mean, the little chip on the top. But that's really cool. So these are the three. I'll go ahead and spread them all out to show. So. So. These are them. So these are my. As for my first submission, I'm not upset. I'm really not upset with this by at all. I'm actually really excited about this. Does this mean I'm going to get more books uh, graded? Maybe. I mean, you know, am I going to expect them all to come back as nine sixes or nine eights? No, not at all. But um, overall, I mean, as far as you know, the books themselves make me happy. Um, I'm excited about that. So I've, you know, whoa. Oh, I see. I was about to say. So I think um, I was looking at the um, the I guess receipt for this, and it was saying um, it says Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, and it says in brackets nineteen seventy five, and I was like, that's nineteen eighty four, my friend. But um, I, I guess that's the um, that's meaning the. Um, I guess tier of the books. 1975 or better so that's awesome though that's really cool and i'm really excited for that so that makes me happy i'm actually really excited that i have these graded now um so i can you know really just kind of sit back and be like yep got some nice graded books um next up i went to a shop um actually last saturday and i was able to pick up a bunch of books that i'm excited to have um and uh so the shop is um, a local one called Nick's Comic Strip. Really cool place. Um, I'd like to go ahead and get back there at some other point just to check out some of the books they have. But um, what I was able to pick up, I got Iron Man 125. So this is a um, early Scott Lang appearance, and I think the second appearance of uh, Rhodey. So pretty cool. Um, we have Incredible Hulk 234. So it's in rough shape. But um, this ends up being the uh, issue where Marvel Boy, um, basically Quasar, actually takes on the name Quasar. So definitely a cool book to have. Um, next we have New Mutants number 38. Really, really awesome cover. Um, I think this is a Rick Leonardi cover. I always thought this was Arthur Adams, but yeah, this is a Leonardi cover. So really awesome looking cover. Um, then um, I was able to pick up... Um, Thor's is 356. 
So um, Thor versus Hercules in this book. It's a really fun story with this. And I always love this cover where he just basically stiff arms Thor out the way, saying that uh, Walt Simonson is, in, is on vacation, and so are you, or so art thou. So pretty cool one. Nice story. Good fight too in this one. And then actually, these are in really, really good shape. So I ended up picking up um, Star Wars issue number 39, Empire Strikes Back. And then issue number 40. So uh, getting um, slowly building up that um, Marvel uh, Star Wars run. Um, we'll see. Because I don't know if I'm going to end up getting all the books in it. But for now, just picking up what I can coming across. And if it's you know in good shape or you know decent price, I pick it up. So that was it. That's been my books. That's really... Um, you know everything that I had to share for the moment so I want to thank you all for watching um, again um, you know let me know what you think on the grades um, you know and if anybody has any tips as to um, I guess what um, I mean I'll have the graded notes and I'll probably do one with that I'll do a um, video with the greatest notes and just kind of you know go from there because I, I think um, as far as you know being able to tell grades I'd like to do that with more accuracy um, so if anybody um, wants to check that one out, I'll probably do that video um, in the next, you probably um, either um, this weekend or early next week just to kind of get that going. Um, maybe, maybe I'll go live with that one just to see what um, people kind of think and, and if anybody has any kind of opinions that might lead to, you know, what it is going on and, and give a better idea of what's happening or maybe what I'm missing. Um, being an amateur, you know, to grading as I am. Um, but again, thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great weekend. I'm out.